hello friends uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project student fees payment system and i have developed this project in uh, spring boot angular and database i'm using the mask for for spring boot development i'm using sts spring boot tool suits which you will get easily from the internet you can download and install that and uh, we have written all of the apis in the spring boot we have used jpa and we have used hibernate also mysql database right so the id i'm using the sts for angular id we are using the visual studio code right and we are running the angular application on port 4200 and the spring boot application the api in port 8080 right so uh, for front end application we have used html css and angular libraries for getting the front end applications right so these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project student face payment system right so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have developed inside this project what are the features available inside this project right so once you run this project then you will get this home page right we are running this project on 4200 so this is the home page these are the static page that is nothing dynamic on it this is about project and it's also a static page now come on the login part so there are two type of login student login and the admin login right so there are two types of three types of interface we have used i will explain to you so this is the first interface you can see this is the first interface this is a registration from here a student can register this is a contact us page from here uh, you can submit the contacts and all of the details will be saved inside the database the feedback page from where you will be able to submit the feedback this is also a dynamic and the information of this page is getting saved inside the database all right so i'm logging as an student first so the student user id submit id the read gmail.com and password is test once you log inside the system you will get this dashboard here you can see home about pay fees online my payments my courses my account and logout these operations student can perform right so these menus are also available here you can see these menus are available here so once you click on pay fees online you need to enter the card number so sorry you can enter any of the card number here these are the dummy card number no need of entering the correct credit card details these are the dummy payments right and month and after that the amount right how much you want to pay make payment once you click on the make payment you will be able to see the all payment report so you can see this payment we have done today right and the payment id is 170 right so this is a payment once you click on the my payments you will be able to see the same page so all of the payments which you have done earlier will be displayed here this is the my courses all of the courses for which you have registered the admin has registered will be displayed here you can see amit kumar the id is five the co crash course and total fees right course started and in that all of the options are available here this is a my course this is a my account from where you can update your account details right okay you can see this is a logout once you click on the logout this my administration page will not be displayed so you can see the my administration page is not displaying here and the link is not displaying here because this is a session driven it's rendering according to the session right now if i go on the admin part you can see this is one of the interface once you click on the admin login then this is this this is a separate interface right and the user id is i mean admin and password is test once you log in then this is a third interface right so there are three types of uh, user interface we have added here right so this is admin portal right uh, so wait admin login okay so here you can see there are a lot of things here right you can manage all of the admin activities so course management from here you can add the courses right once you click on the add new course you can add the course here right this suppose this is a student management you can see all of the registered student even you can add new student from here also this is a student courses all of the courses which you have assigned to the student will be displayed here you can add more course to the student here this drop down will contain all of the students which is available this 
drop down will contain all of the course which is available this is a start key course date and end date and the fees right once you fill all of the forms once you click on the submit then he, the details will be saved inside the database right so this is a payment report all of the payment which has been done by a student will be displayed here you can see this is the latest payment which we have done is displaying here this is a contact us report all of the con all of the contactors form which a student has submitted will be displayed here this is a feedback report right and the logout once you click on the logout then you will be re redacted to the login page right so these all uh, functionalities we have developed inside this project a student fees payment system and there are two types of user login here first one is the student and second one is the admin and as i told you earlier this is a java spring boot mysql angular based project and we are using sts for spring boot development and visual studio code for angular development right so if you need more enhancement in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest causes thanks for watching the video thank you very much